Hey guys, how's it going? Um, thanks for tuning in this video. Um, sorry I look kind of ragged, I just got done uh, working out at Camo Athletics CrossFit. If you guys need a good workout, check them out. They're in Olathe over by uh, Tractor Supply. Anyways, um, so I'm going to follow along on this bottling video and just kind of explain some of the stuff going on in here. Um, just to give a little more background as what's going on and um, I'll be making edits um, as well so hopefully I get it all synced up nice and good I'm still very new at editing I'm out of practice because I hate doing it um, in this video gosh I don't think I've put a video up in like over a year so anyways I'm gonna hit play and um, just kind of talk you guys through the video as it's going all right. All right. Okay. So here, um, Brian's in the background. He is um, the manager of the commercial kitchen at uh, K State that I've been bottling out of um, while I'm making my sauces. Anyway, so what we're trying to do right now is you see the bottling machine there. Um, he's trying to put some tape down for me to so I can the water hits a little more accurately place the bottle underneath. But the dispenser, you guys can kind of see right now we're calibrating it all to make sure the right amount of fluid is coming out. Um, and I have uh, eight ounce bottles, so basically this machine, the way it's set up right now and calibrated, it's squirting out in about four ounce, uh, four ounce poles or four ounce draws. So it takes basically two draws to fill a bottle of my sauce. Um, so yeah, that's what we're in the process of doing right now is we're running very hot water through there, um, 200 plus degrees, because that is gonna warm up all that stainless steel. Um, because you have to keep the hot sauce at a specific temperature when you're bottling it. Um, basically, it needs to stay up about 180 degrees plus, because the bottling process that we're doing here is called hot filling. And basically, that is a way of filling the bottles and sanitizing them at the same time. That high temp is what kills all the bacteria and stuff, not only in the sauce itself, that's why we, that's why I cook the sauce, um, but when we bottle it at that high temperature, I'm gonna, you'll see me trying to cap it, and then immediately I wanna flip that bottle upside down so that all that sauce gets into the headspace of the bottle that heat will sanitize the headspace of that bottle as well as the cap. So we're bottling and sanitizing at the same time. Um, so I think I went back to stir up the hot sauce some more just to make it more consistent when I finally do um, pour it into the hopper. If you guys see the, the big stainless steel hopper, that's where I'm gonna be pouring the hot sauce into. All right. So, yeah, you can't see it. I don't have a very good uh, camera equipment set up right now, but um, just using my cell phone on a tripod. Um, so I'm reaching on my tippy toes. I got a big uh, scoop that I'm using to scoop a bunch of hot sauce into that hopper. There you go, you can see the hot sauce right there. You guys see here in a minute, uh, okay. Brian, who has worked many, many years in the food industry and in kitchens and stuff. I appreciate this about him, but he's going to be pushing me to work very urgently um, because time is money, and uh, you know it costs thirty-five dollars an hour to rent time in the commercial kitchen there. So, the more efficient I can be, um, the more bang for my buck I get. So I'm not gonna stand here the whole time. <laughs> okay. this, is, always, this is your deal. Always, always count. This is, this is your deal. So we'll get you started, but you're gonna have to remember to turn stuff off, turn stuff on, and okay. okay. You know what I mean? Yep. Yep. All right. Unless you want to pay me seventy-five an hour. <laughs> 
Perfect. All right, there's the first four. Looking good so far. Oh yeah. And here I just completely forgot. But yeah. No, don't be back up later. Flustered. Oh no. You can already see I'm screwing up. Uh, yeah, Dang it! You'll get into it, Rich. So you're, you need to set this. So I'm not setting the bottle accurately, um, and I'm not working fast enough because I'm just not used to this yet. Um, but I was going in the wrong order. I, I should have been. There's two pours. Then I put the next bottle on, cap the first bottle, flip it over, and put it in its spot. I do that in the time it takes to fill the second bottle. So I got flustered and uh, forgot what order I was supposed to be doing things. So now I'm going to clean stuff up and um, get set up for another attempt here. Um, and I'll edit out some other longer stuff here. So I've got to take the time to wipe these bottles off. Um, if there's any extra sauce that's sitting outside of the bottle, it's not going to get properly sanitized and and could lead to uh, um, contaminating the bottle. So I got to make sure that I, I wipe all the bottles clean before I cap them and invert them. The most important thing is to fill bottles beautifully. Right. And if, yeah, eight to ten, you're starting to get a build up. Turn it off, and put it on, that's put what Brian's on. talking about. Filling bottles beautifully is one of the most important things here in this step. Ready? This squirt. This one already has a squirt. Right. A bottle. Squirt. Squirt. Next bottle ready. Squirt. Squirt. A clean bottle is a sanitary when bottle. This, when this is full, just pull and put another bottle under. That's this the first thing. thing to start filling while I have the key. Exact. Okay. Exact. Ready? Ready? Go. Perfect. Quick, quick, quick. Yeah, kind of cap really quick. So yeah, maybe you do this. Oh, you're going. Quick, quick. Perfect. That was close. Just worry about this. Don't worry about that. Right. That's why you would say do champion. Like yeah. champion. Bottle. Bottle. Uh, bottle. Uh, and I was not accurate on that one. Kind of hard to tell, but the sauce spilled over the side just because, unfortunately, this uh, particular model, I, I think they might sell accessory parts, but the, um, the filler spout is almost like the exact same size as the whole of my bottles. So I can't just put the bottle underneath the spout and have this the spout inside the bottle it's got to squirt from outside because the, the spout won't fit inside the bottle so that's one of the harder things here is um, lining that bottle up accurately so that the pour goes right into that tiny little hole <laughs> And actually what we found out here, so the first time I did this, you can, you might be able to hear that and yeah, the commentary is kind of, or the sound's pretty quiet because it's from my phone, but I was kind of complaining the whole time about, I felt like I was getting the caps on faster and had more time to line up the bottle. Well, the reason was what we forgot to do, you can see Brian setting it now. Is you can actually adjust how fast the filler fills. So we had it set for like the fastest speed, which I was not used to. So um, Brian there has made some adjustments. I think in this next round of um, filling, it's um, set a lot slower, so it's much more manageable for me. Um, so I think this is the last time that I kind of screw things up. Uh, 
I'm not so sure I'm ready. Go. Wait. Yeah, so I think actually in this one he he sped it up a little bit more, I think. So he was adjusting to try to slow it down. So yeah, there he goes. Now he's turning it the opposite way. That's slow on our check speed. That's slow on it down. There you go. That's better for you. So now it's much more manageable. Sorry. There you go. So take care of what you got. I know here in a few minutes I uh, get a ladder out to. Uh, to fill up the hopper with the rest of my sauce that's still on the stove. There you go. So yeah, this, as you guys can see, is much more manageable for me. Basically, set the bottle up, make sure that first fill is accurate. Then I go ahead and cap, invert, I've never tried store. it. I've heard good things about it, though. I think he was just asking if I uh, had kimchi before, which I haven't. So I stopped it there because I saw the Peter keeps falling asleep. So I stopped it there because I saw the sauce buttering a little bit. So it felt like it was empty, which it was. So now here's where I'm going to get the sauce. I'm trying to feel out whether or not I can um, dump the rest in there without a ladder. It's kind of awkward. I, I didn't want to risk it. So I was kind of indecisive and finally decided to get the ladder. Yeah, nope, nope. Didn't feel good like I could get it from that side. <laughs> oh. Here, ma'am. Testing it out. Should I? Should I? Mm, no. I don't think so. Turn my hands this way. Yeah, ultimately decide to get a ladder so I can get a little height up there. That was it. Okay. Got 12, 24, 36, 47, 48, 49, 40, 45 bottles of Evo Habanero. 
you guys get to see the uh, the bottling process. How much fun!